creative stamp. Damn barn. <laughs> Life hacks for comfort. You can already tell this is gonna be good because there's cream on a pepper. I gotta be honest, I like a life hack as much as the next guy, unless it's picking up your KFC chicken with hair accessories. Ever heard of a knife and fork, love? Do you know if you glue the end of your fork onto the end of your spoon? You look like a moron. Congratulations, you did it. This is teaching you how to ruin a bunch of binders so you can stick them all back together and hide your problems with alcoholism. There you go, thank you, Five Minute Crafts. <laughs> I feel like a better person. <laughs> hey, do you know them seatbelts you got lying around the house just loose? We got a hack for you. Stick it on your wall, hang your keys from it. It's efficient and it looks classy. <coughs> Only you haven't got any seatbelts in your car now, so you're in danger. Don't drive fast. Wobbly cupboard, little car. Wobbly cupboard car. Oh, do you hate it when you're like wobbling things and they're uh, wobbling or something? I don't know. Not anymore, you don't. Get a toy car. Glue his head. Stick it under. Look. Oh, my lord. The missus would love these. I just know her. She's going to say, wow, what a brilliant look. <laughs> oh, no. My pepper rices have fallen. What a sad day. No, they won't because you put it in a thing that holds pepper rices. These. Look, look at the smiley face. That's to let you know it was good. Now me and my pepper rices are going to have a lovely up front sitting forward day. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't even like peppers. Clip. Open. Open more. Put it on your plate. Do it several times. Elastic band. Bang, bang. Hang it on your wall, my friend. No. We're getting a bag now. Dump her on your head. Don't, please. Don't. We're putting stuff inside. Why are we doing this, you're thinking? So that's what I'm thinking, too. I have no idea. Tie it up in a nice little bow, right? Ah, oh, this waterproof outdoor pillow that sounds crinkly when you put your head on it. There's nothing better than listen to crinkle when you're putting your head on things. It's my favourite of all sounds. You've outdone yourselves, Five Minute Crafts. You crinkly little f***. Crinkle, crinkle. It doesn't even look good. Okay, they're teaching you how to make a kite out of an HMM bag. Please don't do it because you'll get beaten up. I promise you. You are asking to get pummeled. If you like pummeling, go for it. We're straightening in now, guys. What'd she do? What the f*** is going on? Why are we putting socks in a pink pipe? So you can put your... <laughs> Because you can put things in things, do it! They could just as easily have put cheeseburger and fries in it, and they would have put a green tick there. Don't bother. Don't touch your toilet seat. Get a spoon. Glue it. Stick it on your toilet seat. Look now. <laughs> They're not even trying. They just glued a spoon to a toilet seat, and then they put a tick there. <laughs> Stick a glass to your car door. Green tick. Stick an elephant to your mother-in-law. Same thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, God. What are they going to do with this fork? Going to bend it. Probably wear it as a necklace, I would have thought. Screw it down. <laughs> do you know what hooks exist? You can... Do you know why I would just get hooks? Because then it won't look mental. Why have they bent them all differently? That one's got its middle finger up. Because that's what it thinks of the idea. I agree with it. Oh, we got another fork. It could, honestly, it could be anything. It's a wig. Wear forks as a wig. How oh, bu- <laughs> That's how the queen has it. If you've got a Buckingham Palace now, right? Guaranteed. They're on the table. Prince Andrew probably got one shoved up his ass. Right, put a nice fresh dollop of meat down with a bit of olive oil, bit of salt. They can't screw this up. Bit of pepper. Wrap it up. You can't screw up a steak. Ah, oh, they screwed it up. Don't iron it. <laughs> Make sure you get both sides when you're ironing your steaks, guys. Let's be real. Come on. No. Don't iron your steaks. As if I'm supposed to tell people that. That's the world we live in now. Oh, no. Don't iron it this time. What are we going to do? Grandma's head a bit warm. Shove it on the steak. Cooked. Don't even... Th Wait, isn't that dangerous to put foil in the toaster? You're going to burn the house down with that. Five minute crafts, guys. Teaching children to burn down the house. Professionalism. What's that yellowy bit? That's the steak's depression from the way it was cooked. Crazy tampon axe. My dream come true. Okay. Get a mason jar. Bit of oil. Hey, where's my tampon? There's the tampon. Doink. Light it on fire. Why are we burning a tampon? <laughs> What's this now? That's a bottle of whatever comes out of granddad is what that is. Just don't. Oh, don't know we're putting tampons in it. Oh, it's a filter so you can drink whatever comes out of grandpa. Thanks, family crafts. Thank you, Pappy Roger. Boil before using. And then tip it straight in the bin. Essential oil. 
Tampon. Essential tampon. In your shoe. Put some essential tampons in your shoe. For just $14.99. At your local tampon for shoes shop. <laughs> Put some tampons in your knickers. Well, <laughs> wait, they tricked me. They tricked me. Tampons on your clothes, my friend. I know <laughs> I'm not going to show these to the missus. It'll give her ideas. I'll have tampons everywhere. Oh, wait, we're gluing the lids of tampon to lid of pickles. We got tampon pickles. Spray your tampon. That's purple tampon pickles for my ring. It's a purple tampon pickle for my ring. That's a song if I've ever heard it. Creative stamp tampon. <laughs> Imagine making that in school. I learned it on five minute crafts mess. I'm just gonna do some dots and some tampons. For Christ's sake. Snicker dribbles on my tongue. Put it in a bowl. Microwave it for four minutes. Get the little lump of shit. Oh, they are actually teaching us how to do snicker dribbles. Wait, where did the liquid come from? That's not even the same thing. No part of that is the dribble that they just put in. Okay, so random chocolate juice, basically, now in Colgate. Can I ask something? Why? What, like, first of all, that's not the Snickers. Secondly, why? Just put it on the bread anyway, without putting in the toothpaste thing. I thought we'd reach high levels with the tampons. They've let themselves down. WD-40 in his Colgate. Poison your friends. Put some toothpaste on your fingers. Speeds up growth. Who's ever complained that their nails don't grow quick enough? If I don't chew mine for a week, I swear to God, I'm like a tiger running around the house. The tigers have long nails. <laughs> Probably. Look, this happened in six seconds, and I didn't even have to use my tampon on my knuckles. God, she got scurvy. Leave! If you see somebody with that color armpits, right, don't talk to them ever again. Oh, that's gonna make it better. Okay, they're putting toothpaste on a fish. It's a- it's officially- <laughs> officially- <laughs> They've lost their minds. The fish is thinking, I had a hook in my mouth today and I got hit with a club. But this is the worst thing to ever happen to me. When you put stuff in an envelope, close it with toothpaste now. Why? Either lick it or sell a tape it. Why toothpaste? I don't understand. Two times two equals f fish. Right guys, uh, good news. We're using condoms. Put it on your cork lid with a bit of glue. Thump it in. <laughs> Wait, I feel attacked. <laughs> this made it law. Oh, that seems worth it. Do you know when you have a little tiny glass of bottle of cork and you want to preserve three quarters of it? Just shove a condom in it and make a little lid. Put a bag in the bitter box. Put a bag in the bitter box. Because we've got all the time in the world and the patience of a saint. No. Melt the end of a straw. Shove it in your drink. Snipple the end off, and then where is the necklace? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below. If you like the style of video, show some love, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Thank you, dudes. Peace.